Our fans really want to be a Raider. We see the feedback, we see the amazing cosplay our fans do, so we really wanted to provide them something that they really want, and we think that they're really going to enjoy it. When you enter Nuka World, there's a, a sort of settlement where the Raiders are, but they don't have the whole park. So there's all these other lands occupied by different monsters and enemies that you have to go in and take for the Raiders, take for your gangs, and, and conquer, and then move your gangs into so that you can have the whole park for your Raider territory. We have Nukatown, USA, which is where the Raiders are sort of living when you first get there. Nuka Galaxy, which is sort of like the future that they would envision in the Fallout universe. We have Dry Rock Gulch, which is a sort of Wild West town. Uh, we have Safari Adventure, which is like the zoo. The bottling plant, which is called the World of Refreshment, is sort of like a tour of the bottling plant. We also have Kitty Kingdom, which is where all the kitty rides are. When you arrive there, you're put into position of being the what we call the overboss, which is sort of the ruler of all these gangs. We're giving players the chance to sort of be the bad guy, to sort of be, be the, the guy raiding through the Commonwealth and taking what they want. We don't necessarily make you the absolute most evil raider. You can actually be, a, you know, like jokingly call a kind-hearted raider, if there is such a thing. People hear raider, they think you're gonna do wholesale slaughter. We actually took great pains to make sure that that wasn't a requirement. We have three distinct gangs, each with their own vibe, each with their own backstory, so it lets you choose not just to be a raider, but you know, what kind you wanna be. The Disciples are sort of your, your classic, very bloody, very violent gang. Then you have the operators, and they're sort of your stealthy, sort of come at you from the shadows, a little more technologically oriented Raider gang, and then the pack, and they're just absolutely crazy. We had um, one of our concept artists go through and develop a lot of the, the different armor. The ones who are more bloodthirsty have more violent shapes and more rough edges, and the ones who are more clean cut and efficient have a more stylized look. So in the end, your overboss should look totally different than someone playing down the street from you. We do have a nice new gun set in there that still has a Raider vibe, the handmade assault rifle. Then on top of that, we have uh, really fun new weapons like the paddle ball, which has a whole bunch of different attachment or mods that you can add. Spikes, you can have shocks, fire, and you can eventually use the weaponized Nuka-Cola to make it sort of like a nitroglycerin paddle ball and pop people's heads. Then we have the uh, acid soaker, where you just hose people down with this toxic acid that melts them. The thirst zapper, which is the uh, weapon that you saw in the uh, Nuka Girls pinup posters, that you get early on in the add-on. You can mod that as you discover the secrets of how they've weaponized Nuka-Cola and turn that into a really devastating weapon. I'd say that this is a great capper on the whole experience in Fallout 4. So as far as working on a, on a project of this duration, I think this was a nice way of saying like, hey, it's time for a vacation now. You're going to this amusement park, but you're also taking a break from saving people and rescuing settlements to, to sort of let your hair out. We've had a wonderful time making this add-on and we really think that everyone will enjoy it and we can't wait till you get your hands on it.